Ich befinde mich hier mit Marshall Selesnik, der jetzt mit uns ein wenig über die Entwicklung der UFC und des MMA in Europa sprechen wird und über die Möglichkeit ähm, ja, einer neuen Institution, nämlich einer internationalen MMA-Federation. Marshall, um, first of all, you're doing your first event in Sweden this Saturday and obviously received a very warm welcome, um, yeah, sold out in three hours, I guess. Um, did you yeah, in any shape or form expect such a big success? You know, we're always um, a little more pessimistic than that. You know, we come in and plan as if, you know, we're going to have to work for every ticket. But um, I think in the back of all of our mind, we knew that when these tickets would go on sale, that they would move very quickly. And um, as it turns out, our little suspicion was right. Uh, the fans have reacted very positively. It sold out, as you said, very quickly. And there are going to be over 15,000 fans in the Globe Arena who are going to walk away ecstatic. Where is this success coming from? I mean, Sweden is a country where professional boxing is banned and they seem to love MMA. I mean, in most countries it's just the other way around. In Germany, for example, they love boxing, but they seem to hate MMA. Uh, where's this coming from? Well, I think if you look at you know, just the, the martial arts practitioners here, there are people um, who are practicing this sport and there are many, many people who are practicing um, either an individual martial arts or now uh, mixed martial arts, if you will. Uh, and what we realized pretty quickly about five years ago when we really started our international initiative, maybe six years ago, was that Sweden popped up on the radar really quick at high web traffic. Our, we had a TV deal at the time with Jim TV, which was, was doing fantastic. Um, we were getting interest from media executives. They wanted to you know, buy the rights to the UFC. Um, and so You know, I'm not sure what it is about the difference between boxing and mixed martial arts, but I do think when you look at what mixed martial arts is and um, at its core it's martial arts and the respect and discipline and all the positive attributes that come with martial arts, I think is what allowed, has allowed this sport to grow. Sweden will be the first uh, event in Europe in this year um, and we heard rumors about maybe another event in Liverpool later this year. Um, rumors about an event in Italy maybe um, in the next time coming up, even uh, France. Uh, can you tell us something on that um, Yeah, part of the story? Well, we'll definitely be in the UK. Um, it will not be in Liverpool. I've, um, that's news to a lot of people, I am sure. But it will be in the UK. It will be in September. We don't have the uh, city venue and date to announce yet. We know in our mind what it will be. But until we have everything locked in, we can't announce anything. Um, Italy is definitely on our target list. Italy uh, for next year could be a real possibility. Uh, I'm also keeping a very close eye on what's happening in Scotland with their new um, arena there. I think that could be something that you could see next year. And hopefully more events for this region. This region is starving for them. Every time we bring an event, they sell great. And as a company, we're focused on it. I know Lorenzo and I have had a number of conversations about um, how do we do more events in Europe. Yeah, the tricky bit is that it's time-wise, it's a little awkward uh, for us back in the States. But um, I think the philosophy now within the company is that we may not be held up anymore by that timing issue. You know, coming from Germany, obviously, this is uh, something that we are mostly interested in. Um, is it possible to see the UFC back in Germany any time in the near future? Because the last event wasn't exactly uh, the biggest success, and we have this uh, whole media situation, which is very complicated. Um, how possible is it to see the UFC back in Germany in the near future? Look, I think Germany is always on our list. It's sort of, if you have an A and a B list, you know, um, it's usually on our B list sitting out there. Um, that's not a bad thing, though. There are a lot of countries that aren't even on the B list. Um, but until we get this situation figured out with television, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to be there. We do know there's a market there. It still is one of our top web traffic markets. Um, we still do good merchandise business out of there through our web stores. Um, we know the fans are there. But, you know, we're working through this legal process. We're very optimistic about that process. We hope by the end of this year we'll have some resolution that will give us a little more clarity. We actually have had interest from a couple of networks who uh, have, in, in essence, said to us that if you can get this situation figured out in Bavaria, um, we're, we're inclined to do a deal with you. So uh, I feel like it's ready to pop again, but until we get this legal issue shaken off, you know, then we'll start to really put some energy into that. 
You just mentioned the uh, problem with the time difference uh, in the United States and here in Europe, uh, which is definitely a big problem. And uh, you have tried in the past to let the events uh, begin at the original start time in the US and let the fans in Brazil, I guess it was, uh, yeah, attend the events at midnight or midday, whatever it is. Um, is this something you like to pursue in the future or is this a project you, you, you consider uh, failed? I think so. I, as I mentioned, you know, as we look at this market, we believe that in light of the interest that we could run an event at potentially two a.m. in the morning and our fans would come out and support it and that will allow us to do a pay-per-view style event here um, and the market deserves it and um, like I said I think the executives understand that and we want to try and deliver that it won't be this year I don't believe it'll happen this year uh, but I think next year you could see something like that happen Marshall, last question. You mentioned um, the possibility of an international MMA federation. Uh, the UFC is behind this idea, obviously. Um, there are talks about it in the couple, last couple of weeks. And um, you said uh, that it would make a lot of sense in countries where they don't uh, have a government body that uh, regulates the sport, um, unlike in the USA where you have the sports commissions. Uh, the question that I have now is um, what happens if we have an international MMA federation? Um, do they have a saying in countries like the US, for example, or what happens to the sports commissions? Do they regulate? Yeah, it's, actually, don't. it's a very good question. Um, I, I believe in our mind, in, in my mind, what would happen is the sports, the sports commissions in the U.S. will always have authority. They have legal binding authority over these events. It's not to say that an international federation couldn't play a role or be involved with it or somehow sanction it in its own way. Um, it's a really bad analogy, but when you think about what the WBC and WBA do, I mean, it's in, in boxing, it's a bad analogy, but it's that kind of concept. But the real trick is in these markets, as you said, where there aren't any government bodies to do this. Uh, this group here in S Sweden and the people that have got behind it have a really pure benevolent outlook on what MMA should be. And, um, and that's why we're getting in behind them and to support their initiative. And, and we hope that other professional um, promotions and anybody who wants to um, organize these individual federations and states will look to the people uh, here in Sweden and reach out to them and find a way to perhaps perhaps work together to um, you know put a little structure to this sport in places where there isn't a commission. All right, Marshall, thank you very much for taking the time. I know you're a busy man, oh, and um, you yeah, and we're looking forward to Saturday. Uh, good luck with the event, much success, and um, thank you. See you thank next. You very time. Much. All right.